Hey everybody, it is Princess Friend, and I hope that everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I know that I did, um, and actually right before Thanksgiving, I posted a couple of videos with me reading court declarations and whatnot. The first one was uh, one for Sharon Nelson, and she was claiming that there were uh, some bad blood between her and Comerica, which are the representatives for Prince's estate. And then the second one that I did was reading a court document from Iron Mountain. And here's where the wrench in the machine kind of happened. Uh, when I was reading it, I think I was coming at it from... <laughs> I was already kind of heated from the first one where I was talking about Sharon Nelson and her dealings with Comerica. Uh, so then I was reading the second document, and I think I might have interpreted it slightly differently. There was actually a line in there that I missed. One line, and it was one line that said, at Iron Mountain's facilities. The video that I'm talking about is Comerica may have been lying. Uh, and you know what? In that video, I actually said, you know, I hope I'm wrong, and I hope that this isn't the case, and I hope that everything is not the way that I am saying it, and you know what? Turns out that it wasn't. It turns out that I was completely wrong, um, and that actually does kind of make me <laughs> a little bit happy. Um, it makes me a little bit uh, humble as well. Uh, I had a lot of our friends come into the comments and, you know, correct me, and I was just like, oh crap, you're right. I I think I might have read that wrong. Uh, and basically, the big issue here is that anytime that they were referring to Prince's vault, they were referring to the estate's vault. Um, they were actually referring to the vault at Iron Mountain. And in my mind, this seemed like a strange turn of phrase, like uh, the vault has only ever been used as uh, a term for Prince's vault. Uh, so for me in my brain, again, I was wrong. I read the vault and I thought, oh, well, that, they must be talking about Prince's vault there. But I did skip a line that says, nope, they were talking about Iron Mountain stuff. So, <laughs> um, so I want to say thank you to anybody who came on and, you know, did correct me in the comments. Of course, I, I said to do that. I said, if I'm wrong, come and tell me I'm wrong. Uh, and I, that I hope that I'm wrong as well. But I also want to say that the second part of that story being the Iron Mountain stuff and I might have made a flub or whatever doesn't really overshadow the first part of that. Comerica is still not acting as a friend and an ally to Prince's legacy. Comerica is acting as an adversary. And this is, again, my opinion, but based on the stuff that Sharon is saying, I'm still pretty much in line with what she's uh, saying at this point. Now, what this does do, though, is that the Iron Mountain documents basically it is Iron Mountain basically saying, look, it's not us. <laughs> you can be mad at anybody. Don't be mad at us. We're just doing our job and we're doing it well. And you know what? I'm actually, the, the fact that they did have that document, now we know that all of that information about, you know, that it's climate controlled and it's an amazing facility for storing stuff and now it's got all barcodes and stuff, all of that is... Uh, for Iron Mountain, and I think that that absolves them of a lot of their guilt. I don't think anybody was really angry at Iron Mountain, but if you were, um, stop that, because it, it's not really Iron Mountain's fault. It's Comerica's fault, because Comerica was the one who hired Iron Mountain to have Prince's stuff. Um, and, and again, that's not even the only claim that Sharon was making. Sharon also said that they were involved with the failing of the Universal deal and stuff like that so but really this video was for me to come on and if you've watched the video of me saying Comerica might be lying Comerica could still be lying <laughs> but the information that I had in that video does not prove that they were lying again thank you for everybody who comes here uh, I know I try and give it to you straight I do give you my opinion and you know this time I got it wrong so I'm Hopefully this kind of stuff doesn't happen again in the future. That just shows that I'm not that great of an investigative reporter. I should probably... <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, but you gotta try new things. It's the way that I look at it. But once again, thank you for coming to the channel. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and all that jazz. And um, may you live to see the dawn. We'll see you next time.